Good morning, everybody. Today I'm out and about in a location that uh, I have been before. I found a few things here, some old bottles, and even found a old mess kit, military mess kit from about 1887. And I found a bunch of square nails out here, and so I know there's older stuff out here. Um, so I thought I'd come back. I've been out here several times. So I thought I'd come back out here and take a look. I haven't been out here in a while. <laughs> On my way out here, there was it's so we've had a lot of rain the last couple of days, and the roads are so dirt roads are so muddy and stuff. There's sections I thought, oh man, I'm gonna get stuck, and I'm. So sliding all over the place so <laughs> but I made it anyway we're gonna take a look and hopefully we'll find something all right here we go well I found my first find today here take a look you can see here It's a bottle opener. Let me get out of the sun. It is really rusted. There might be some writing on there. I don't know if I can get anything out of that or not. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll do the electrolysis and we'll find out what it is later on. All right. On with the searching. Well, I, I just had an officer <laughs> come out and check me out. I think you might have think I was hunting for animals out here. So you guys are illegally hunting the desert. You better watch out. <laughs> but anyway... It was kind of cool meeting him. I can't remember his name, but he was um, kind of nice guy. It's nice to know that uh, they're doing their job out here, and we appreciate all the work they do out here. Because there's a lot of shenanigans that go out here in the desert. Anyway, I'm still looking. Hopefully we'll find something. I think I found a bottle. Cool, let's check it out. Well, I'm walking down this little road right here and right here I found a bottle I'm not sure what it is if it's all there or not I think that's that's cool uh, is it complete it's complete it's an RC Cola bottle oh cool that is neat that's the first time I ever found one of those it's not as old as some of them, but I will take it. Oh, that is cool. Let's see if there's a date on the bottom. No date. Hmm. Oh, wait. Something on the side there. Well, I don't see any date right off the bat. So, we're going to have to do some better looking on it and do some research. Anyway, that is awesome. Well, I think I found a mason jar. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it sure looks like one. Here, check it out. All right. Yep, it's a ball. Ball mason jar. Cool. Now, I know you can date the name, I mean, uh, by how it's the ball is written. So I'm not sure how old this one is. I'll have to double check my chart. But that's cool. You might already know how old it is by the way the B is stuff. 
All perfect mason jars. Cool. On with the searching. Oh, you're not going to believe this. I found another RC Cola bottle. Here, check it out. There it is. Cool. Same kind and everything. Oh, that's cool. Man, I wish I could find a date on these. These were probably dumped at the same time. It's a 16 ounce. It's probably in the... 70s 60s maybe I'm, a, I'm guessing but that's cool cool all right on with the searching Hey everybody, it's time for the end of the hike, a wrap up, go over everything that I found. Well, we started off and uh, like I said, I've been there before and hoping to find some more stuff and I did. Uh, kind of interesting hike, uh, it was actually happened yesterday, it was kind of interesting hike yesterday. Um, Started off and I found that rubble pile and then I found that uh, that bottle opener, the church key. It was pretty rusted. I didn't think that I might be able to get something out of it. You can see it's it's hard to make out what it is. But with a little uh, work, you can work out the detail that it's actually a, a hams bottle opener. And it says... Uh, Freshness as the mountain blue waters or something of that <laughs> nature. So it's a fairly early one, um, probably in the 50s, 60s, somewhere around there. So that's kind of cool. I wish it was in better shape, but uh, I'll take it. And then I found the first uh, soda bottle or uh, the uh, Royal Crown Cola bottle. Um, I just assume because they, I mean, they were, I found them not too far from each other. I just assume that they were from the same, you know, drop at the same time. But when you look at them in the details, uh, like the first one I found, it says 16 fluid ounces on the top. And then it has a crown. Here's a picture of it. The crown and, uh. On one side it says Royal Crown Cola, one pint. That's the crown side. The other side has a crown and an RC one pint. And then it's written out in letters, fluid ounces at the top. There was no physical date that I could find on that one. So I had to go from research. And that one dates to about 1968. And the other one... It's pretty similar. I mean, if you're not looking real close, you could miss it. But one side it says, here's the other picture of it. It says, RC in letters, Royal Crown Cola, one pint. But it's 16FL.OZ. Instead of the spelt out on the top. And the other side is the crown, RC, one pint. and But on the top it's 16FL.OZ. But this actually had a date on it on the bottom of a 1966 year I was born <laughs> so that's kind of cool somebody was drinking this out there and chucked it uh, when, I, when I was being born in the hospital <laughs> so that's kind of cool uh, and I, I think I said this was from 1968 the, uh, the first one we found but uh, in between I found the the ball uh, perfect mason jar and I referred to my chart on uh, dating these. This is actually 
was made between 1933 to 1960. Uh, I don't know. There's some numbers that are real blurry. I, can, I don't know if they get even more detailed on dates on these. But anyway, uh, the next batch would have been from about 1960 up to 75. And the 75 is to what's present now. And they have ones that are from, uh, I think, uh, in the 20s up to 1933. And then it goes even farther back. But that's kind of neat. I like it. I have an old zinc lid that I'll put on it. It'll be cool to display. And that interesting uh, experience I had out there with the, uh, you know, basically I'm just walking along and all of a sudden I see at my truck somebody else is parked. I went, oh no, something going on. But it was so far away I couldn't make out that it was a, a you know, land management an officer uh, vehicle so I start walking back there and as I'm walking I, I see some a shadow of somebody moving to the right of me back in the kind of in the bushes pretty far away not far enough away where I couldn't make out that he was a law officer so I said uh oh here we go because there are a lot of shenanigans that go out there I've had people oh man I, I ain't gonna get into that but it's been crazy out there sometimes and so i'm walking and i'm thinking oh no who's this person and he starts walking to me and you know i finally make out that it looks like a police officer he's got the the uh the um the uh the microphone on his uh, on his chest and and all of a sudden he you know he, he says who he is you know so i am i couldn't remember his name but from the law uh, man, uh land management officer so i <laughs> i said oh okay i i didn't i didn't stress anymore so i wa started walking towards him and says says he, he go he asked me if i was hunting for bottles and then he explained to me first he thought i was i was setting traps and all this kind of stuff and i uh, so I says no just hunting for bottles out here and any kind of relics and stuff and he, really nice guy i was really surprised and um but uh, he's just doing his job, and he, uh, like I said, super nice. Uh, asked a lot about stuff that I was looking for and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool. And it makes you feel a little bit better they're out there and they're trying to protect some of the stuff that needs to be protected out there because it's it gets abused constantly out there, at least that I see. I mean, you know, yeah, I, I benefit somewhat when they dump their stuff out there, but... There's so much trash that gets dumped out there. There's, you know, every once in a while you hear they're dumping bodies or they're doing illegal hunting or drugs or plant marrow, <laughs> you name it. It goes on out there. But uh, so that makes you feel a bit better. They're out there looking for the bad guys in a sense. But anyway, I really had a lot of fun and I appreciate you guys walking, watching, and I hope you come back.